Welcome to the Brew For You show sponsored by the Beer Loons. The Beer Loons have great gift items for your last minute shoppers. Go to beerloons.com to find out more. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Hello everyone, I am your host, Mike Campbell, and welcome to Brew For You. Today we're going to be trying out a Millstream Brewing Company Dark Knight Belgian Style Rye Ale. Don't forget to call our beer line with anything you want. We are also going to start opening up our beer reviews to home brews. If you've ever wanted someone to really review your beer, then let us know and we'll get everything worked out. Call 512-827-0505, extension 5957 today. Let's give you a little background on the Millstream Dark Knight Rye Ale. It uh, Millstream is out of Amana, Iowa. This is what they consider a Belgian-style rye ale. There's not a lot of information out on the uh, internet as far as this beer is concerned. Even alcohol percentage, things like that, aren't even available, and it's not available on their website as well. Uh, you do want to serve at about 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and the proper glass is either a snifter, goblet, tulip, or oversized wine glass. So let's go ahead and get on with the uh, beer review here. And we... When we pour the beer, the first thing you're going to notice is um, how super thick this beer pours into the glass. It uh, pours in there very similar to like a motor oil. And I mean, seriously, that thick of uh, a viscosity. It is very brown in color uh, with hints of amber around the edges. The head color is kind of cream, almost a beige color, uh, very little head. When you pour it in, it's, like I say, a very, very thick beer, which would lead me to believe that they've uh, really pushed what the yeast can handle, uh, hence very little carbonation. Uh, in the aroma, you get this first deep uh, roasted notes uh, hitting you at first, and then it kind of, you pick up flavors like dark chocolate. Uh, you do notice the rye a little bit in the aroma. There's kind of a dark fruit smell, and I noticed a uh, kind of a woodiness to the beer as well, almost like oak. Uh, it's probably from the uh, hops itself, but it, it almost could remind a person of uh, an oak aroma as well. Now, in the flavor, which we haven't tried this yet, mm, again, roasted notes hit you first. Uh, you get dark fruit as well. The body's uh, a bit uh, surprising just because um, it is, again, thick, just like it poured, and some folks aren't used to it, so it's a very heavy um, uh, body on this beer. Um, it is does have a sweetness to it, but it's not uh, cloyingly sweet. Mm. I think this is going to remind people very much of a uh, heavy-duty stout, uh, other than it's not quite as robust and over-the-top that way, but definitely in the aftertaste, you pick up the um, roasted flavors, again, almost uh, like a coffee flavor, like a dark coffee flavor. So you really think, Kind of like a stout, uh, almost all the way through, uh, but not quite the flavor profile of a stout. So um, hops really aren't much existing here other than maybe in the aroma, uh, enough to balance the beer. Uh, but like I say, well, not, not too bad a beer. It's very different from what you might expect. Uh, the body on this is definitely heavy, uh, and it's definitely malty as well. You do pick up that sweetness uh, from the malt quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 10 on the hop scale. Uh, there's not much uh, there for the hops. Overall rating, this is a very different beer, and it may be hard for folks to wrap their uh, taste buds around a little bit, uh, unless you're into very thick and heavy style beers. Um, I'm not familiar if they're actually, you know, how many Belgian rye ales there are out there, uh, but it's definitely smooth and um, Belgian-esque in that aspect it's it's a pretty good beer it's definitely different uh from most my rating um 
I'm going to put in the very good category at the top of the category at a 72 out of 100. Nice beer, uh, just very different from what a lot of folks may be used to. Uh, nice approach from the brewers. So that's going to do it for our review of the Millstream Brewing Company's Dark Night Belgian Style, Style Red Ale. And don't forget to check out our homebrew podcast show called Brewing Today. And until next time, cheers.